Hello everybody, this is a big day for you, because this is the day, I believe, 99.9% .9 sure, I am going to be doing my fourth Giants giveaway contest. This is the biggest contest to date, so stay tuned for that, we're going to do a little road trip again, maybe at McDonald's, and then later tonight. I think it's when we're going to get that video up for the giveaway. You'll like it. We're going to have multiple prizes, so there's going to be multiple people that can win. 72 degrees outside today. First time I have not worn a coat in quite some time. Hope everyone else is having a great day. Let's get this party started. Well, it looks like I went to Toys R Us. And you want to see what's in the bag? I'll show you what's in the bag. Bam! We'll talk about that later. Could it be a part of the giveaway later? You never know. Alright. At a McDonald's. By the time I get all these um, Happy Meal toys, I am going to be tired of Big Macs. Let me tell you. Alright, I'm going to go inside and see if I can find something different. I got a Big Mac. Happy Meal! Yeah. Got a Big Mac as usual. And we did look out. They had one. They had Jet Fact, which I got yesterday. And... Crusher. So that's cool. You know what we do, we'll go home, open them up, put them next to the Crusher, the regular one. Walmart. This is the one that had a lot at one time. They still have quite a bit. No molten hot dog. That's what I want. Doesn't that look delicious? Alright. Gonna go to one more McDonald's. Maybe get a shake. And that will end my McDonald's road trip for today. Um, stay tuned for more information about the giveaways. In this video and another video I'm going to do today, you'll get more information. On to the next stop. Well, if you see something, if you see food, Probably know that I got something. If you haven't had a strawberry banana smoothie at McDonald's, I highly recommend it. They're delicious. I actually could have got a bigger size because I love this. The best smoothie you can get at a fast food restaurant. What did you get? We got Drobot. And we got Gilgrunt. Now, I don't think I have Gilgrim, but he looks a lot like Jetpack. They both shoot. So, I'm 99% I'm sure I don't have that. So, we should be okay with that. But we'll find out when we get home. And that is my next stop. I'm going home. Another day, another road trip. To McDonald's. Three toys, not bad. I think I got three or four more to go. So get at least one more video, maybe two. No chaos yet. <clears throat> I've actually been to about seven McDonald's total, and there's about two or three more I haven't been to that haven't been on my routes, haven't been on my way to things. I'll get to those. 
Let's get home. Well, you're probably already home if you're watching the video. I'm going to get home. Open these up. Alright, I made it home. With three toys. And yes, I did need these. Put another ones I have down here real quick. Got some company. So you might try to knock on the door, so I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly. I've seen those before. We're going to do three more. And I believe that only leaves me with three left, so that is pretty sweet. Chaos being probably the most important. Igniter and I believe Chop Chop. <clears throat> so that is that. Let's get these opened. Uh, more information on the giveaway. I probably still will do it tonight. Uh, my wife and I are going to a Walmart in our Corvette for a little road trip. Get the Corvette out. It's a very nice day. Um, I already got a couple prizes. Um, the next video after this one um, I'm doing today involves another one of the prizes. The other prize I showed you is a yeah, yeah, jet pack giant, and I got another prize today, and I might get one more tonight. That being said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the giveaway tonight or tomorrow, because if I do it tonight, it might get up a little late. Um, we'll see how fast we get back. We won't be out, be out that late, but I'm not sure. So, blah, blah, blah. Thought you'd want to know that information. Let's open now, a lot, I know a lot of people are doing this, so you've probably seen most of these. Now, a lot of people have gotten them all at once. But my McDonald's aren't like that, apparently, because none of them have... None of the six or seven I've been to have had all of them. They've only had a couple. I think the most anyone's had is four. Um, one of the ones I went to had four today, but two of the ones I've already had. So that was the most. So I'll probably go back to that one next week, because they seem to have more. But here we go. Number three is Gilgrant. Push the button on the back. And he fires. That is pretty far. I'm actually going to do a little contest here. One of these days with these three. We're going to have a shooting contest to see who can shoot the farthest. Gilgrant went pretty far. I think he might win. But we'll do that soon. And to compare them to the other two. Oh, Gilgrant does not want to stay. No, let's not compare them to him because he is like up in the air, so that doesn't count. We'll compare them to Series 1. And once again, he is bigger than the normal figure. I don't see many people compare them to the normal Skylanders. I thought you might be interested, so there's that difference. Put him over there with his buddies. Up and they all fall down. They don't stand up that well, that's one of the things. They don't do a stand up well. Let's do Drobot real quick. Uh oh. Drobot flies. I'm going to put this down. Put his wings in. Try to put his wings in. Did I put his wings in? Okay, I must have put his wings in already. I guess they're on. They don't look like they're on, but they're on. Okay. Not much to him. As you probably know, all he does is flap. I'm a bird. Oh my goodness, I'm going to copy. I'm a bird. him to series one. That's probably the best comparison. Look how it like the McDonald's toy is so much more massive than the Skylanders toy. 
That's probably the best example. He is huge drug by. He's probably bigger than... Yeah, uh, no. He's about the same as Spyro. But that really gives you an idea how much bigger these toys are. The McDonald's toys. There's Drobot. And last, but certainly least, this is probably the one I like the least. And I'll tell you why in a second. Number five is Crusher. Number Drobot was number six, I believe. Yep. Number five is Crusher. He has no buttons. Doesn't light up. Doesn't um, do much except you can move his hand like this. Which I'm not sure why they did that. They could have just made a button. Because Chop Chop and Igniter have buttons that do this. So you don't have to do it yourself. Oh, let's get him on the ground get a little better. So there's Crusher. And the reason I do not like him, I probably like him the least, is because he looks, to me, nothing like the original. He almost looks naked to me. And I think that's kind of because he has no paint. Um, original Crusher, they painted the legs green in spots. There, there. And his collars are painted. Oh, I guess only one collar is painted. So they seem like they painted a lot less, and he almost looks. Because they didn't paint him, the only thing they painted is this part. He really looks naked. Looks like they should have painted something, but they didn't. I was actually almost thinking of not getting this one. Just because I wasn't that impressed. And I, once again, it's not bad for a toy. I only paid a buck or two for it. So I'm not complaining that much. I didn't pay 14 or 15 like the normal toy. It is what it is. He's almost the same size as the Giants toy. Not much difference there. So, this is my collection to date. Okay, they're not gonna, they're not gonna stand because they're not, they don't like to stand unless it's a very flat surface. So there it is. Stay tuned later for the giveaway, either tonight or tomorrow. More info coming on that soon. Everyone have a great afternoon, night, day, whatever it is where you are at this time. Bye.